Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih. The anniversary of joining the UN as a full member. The 19th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the passing of the Martyrs Day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the achievements of Bahrain made under the leadership of His Majesty and wished him abundant health and success. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and hailed his efforts and contributions in the kingdom's development, wishing him abundant health to continue his sincere efforts for the kingdom's progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the achievements of Bahrain through its comprehensive development march made under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and also paid tribute to the patriotic servicemen who sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. He also wished His Majesty abundant health and success. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Crown Prince and hailed his efforts and contributions in the kingdom's development, wishing him lasting good health to continue his contributions to the nation's progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed. Al Fatih, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Majesty also received cables from His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries marking Bahrain's National Day's celebrations and the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The leaders expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health and success to His Majesty and to Bahrain and its people, further development and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the accomplishments of the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also hailed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's efforts and contributions to the Kingdom's development and hailed the efforts of Team Bahrain in raising the status of the Kingdom. He wished the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness also paid tribute to the patriotic servicemen who sacrificed their lives in 
in the line of duty. He recalled with pride the sacrifices of the kingdom's martyrs, who ensured the security and stability of the country. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lasting good health and happiness. In a reply cable, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, in which he expressed good wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and praised his efforts and contributions to the kingdom's accomplishments, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from the National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, and His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, wishing His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness also received similar cables from Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from leaders, prime ministers and crown princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. They expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health health and happiness and success to His Royal Highness the Premier and further development and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received congratulatory cables on the occasion of the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne from National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Rashid Equestrian and Horse Race Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, also received congratulatory cables from His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, where they expressed their sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the national anniversary, wishing many happy returns and the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health and success to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and to Bahrain and its people for their development and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the United Kingdom's freest, First Sea Lord and Chief of the Royal Navy Staff Admiral Antony Radakan at Rifa'a Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed that the long-standing strategic ties between Bahrain and the United Kingdom continue to advance across all levels to the benefit of both kingdoms and their peoples. His Royal Highness 
highlighted the deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, noting the strong level of bilateral cooperation between the two countries in promoting regional security and stability, including the joint participation in the international maritime security construct. His Royal Highness and Admiral Radakan also discussed regional and international topics of common interest. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Bahrain Defense Force Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Ziad bin Saqar Al Nuaimi also attended the meeting. The Court of the Crown Prince announced that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa will welcome Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Imran Khan, upon his arrival on an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain on December 16th. The visit will include the signing of a number of mutually beneficial memoranda of understanding to enhance bilateral cooperation between the two countries across various fields. The Court of the Crown Prince took this opportunity to welcome the Prime Minister and wished him and his accompanying delegation a pleasant stay in the Kingdom. The Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, patronized and attended the 10 year anniversary celebration of the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Derasat, which was attended by the Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and various officials and invitees. The President of the Center, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, was at the forefront of those who received the Minister, along with members of the Center's board and its officials. The Minister the Minister congratulated Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed and all of the center staff for the occasion and praised their achievements in the form of development and strategic studies which support Bahrain programs for sustainable development. The event commenced with the playing of the Bahraini national anthem followed by a recitation of the Quran. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed affirmed that the center is honored by being established by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and for it to receive his royal directives through which the center achievements have been realized. He extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, whose leadership he hailed and said has been followed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He extended thanks and appreciation for the minister for patronizing the event and for his support in writing the book through which the center attempted to pay tribute to his majesty the king he added that the book is being translated to english and other languages in coordination with other centers sheikh abdullah presented the royal court minister with a copy of the first issue of an illustrated book titled a decade of studies he also presented him with a commemorative gift the minister then honored Dirasat board members, sponsors and employees who completed 10 years of service. Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies Dirasat celebrates 10 years of rewarding transitioning from vision to reality and integration of intellect and achievement built on strategic planning, competency and determination to become an enduring partner in national advancement. Celebration today with the auspices of uh, His Excellency the Minister of the Royal Court is an encouragement to us all at the uh, Dirasa Center to bring about bigger achievements to the center. What has been achieved over the past decade is a lot and we are proud of the numerous MOUs and uh, agreements we have signed with uh, counter think tanks around the region and around the world and uh, also uh, for the first time signing agreements and MOUs with ministries in Bahrain with uh, national institutions to support their work with relevance to the specialization of uh, Dirasat. Dirasat, through practical programs and planned activities, contributes actively to decision-making, sustainable development, moderation and regional security. Very well established uh, research center, one who gain uh, respect and also trust of the community in Bahrain. We are in the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. 
we very likely uh, based some of the decisions of the outcome of this uh, research, especially the research uh, built on political crisis, security crisis in the region, and some other issues relating to the environment as well. So we thank Zirasat for the great efforts, for this uh, contribution to the, to the foreign policy, but also to the government and the private sector and the community. Good base for us um, as a, uh, uh, MPs uh, to have such a center in Bahrain. It means a lot for us because we can really, if we want, we can benefit a lot from this center. And we are looking forward to uh, different uh, and positive uh, kind of cooperation between the center and the representative council. The consecutive achievements accomplished by Dirasat led to its advanced placement as an international think tank and among the top five regional ones. A decade of excellence, a decade uh, of achievement, uh, implementing everything modern and new in, in the studies, in something uh, scientifically, and I think the area especially needs something like that. Uh, I believe Dirasat now become the leader in the area of strategic studies. Truly a uh, wonderful think tank that we have here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. To my understanding, it is the fourth uh, in the region and we're very proud of this. Uh, it's always been dedicated to excellence since the very start and uh, they really have a dynamic team behind it and we ourselves as decision takers here in the country benefit uh, greatly from their respective research. An institution like Darasat is absolutely fundamental for developing uh, good research that translate into strong and effective policies. So each of our governments relies upon the research that's produced at organizations like Derasat in our own countries. But what Derasat provides those of us in the foreign diplomatic corps here is a very useful forum and platform for discussion of ideas. This is a great achievement. Derasat over the last uh, 10 years has produced unique and distinguished uh, research. Uh, that we are all proud of and that are uh, part of uh, presenting solutions uh, for uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain in, in many areas, economics and energy. Drasat is, I believe, is the backbone of having correct data, correct information, correct research and studies in order to allow the leaders in the energy industry to uh, develop its strategies that meet the 2030 sustainable development uh, vision of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Dirasat Center is a product of the comprehensive reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who holds scientific research in the highest regard as a partner in decision making. Dirasat has become a beacon for strategic thinking and a monument for comprehensive knowledge. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development, Projects and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, paid a visit today to HID in the presence of the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Khalif, the Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Engineer Wa'il Al Mubarak, and senior officials. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed that achieving advancements in new cities in the kingdom reflects the government's keenness to implement its housing plans and strategies under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed that the implementing of royal directives and providing 40,000 housing units is the top priority of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised the achievements of opening Khalifa and Salman cities in addition to providing housing units in head and said that they represent positive indicators and guarantee new housing for citizens. Deputy Premier praised the efforts of the ministries in implementing the head housing project and praised the quality and advantages of this project. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah then was briefed by the Minister of Housing on all the stages of implementation of the project and inspected the project. The Minister of Housing valued the visit of Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah which 
reflects the government's keenness to provide housing units to citizens. He also praised the keen follow-up of the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure and its role in coordinating efforts among ministries, remove obstacles and provide a suitable environment. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, where it approved Decree by Law 9 of 2019 on an exploration and production sharing agreement between the government of Bahrain and any Bahrain. The council also approved the recommendation of the Public Facilities and Environment Committee, which rejects the draft law, adding a second paragraph to Article 26 of the Municipal Law. The Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa witnessed the signing of an agreement between the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and Ardo's Contracting and Maintenance Company regarding the construction of Khalifa Town Health Center in the presence of the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh as well as a number of officials. The agreement comes in line with the directives of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to keep pace with the urban and growth and service development in Khalifa town and identify the needs of its people. A family festival was opened at the Southern Governorate amidst festivities, marking Bahrain's national celebration on the 16th and 17th of December in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed al-Fatih in 1783, the 48th anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the 20th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, opened the family fair near the Bahrain National Stadium in the presence of senior officials, media and citizens. The Governor reiterated allegiance to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, stressing the importance of national days that nurture patriotism and showcase landmark achievements in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He paid tribute to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in the presence of the Minister of Labor and Social Development Jamil bin Mohammed Humaydan, this is Bahrain launched its annual celebration, marking the national holidays at Bahrain National Stadium. On the occasion, the Minister noted that the royal patronage of His Majesty the King of the annual celebration affirms His Majesty's support to cultural, religious and ethnic diversity that characterizes Bahrain and reflects its history, which was distinguished by social openness and freedom of thought, religion and belief, and its role model in the consolidation and support of rapprochement and dialogue among civilizations, cultures, religions and different sects within the framework of intellectual and cultural pluralism and religious doctrinal and intellectual diversity. He also hailed the activities of the event, which showcased the cultures of different communities and stressed that the ministry is keen to provide all facilities and support to its various religious societies and institutions. The Embassy of Bahrain held a reception in Washington, D.C. On the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of its national days, the ambassador to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, received a number of officials, including congresspersons and senators, along with other members of the Kingdom of Bahrain's community and various invitees. He extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Sir Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the ambassador affirmed the importance of the deep-rooted Bahraini-U.S. ties, which he said are built on common principles, interests, and a strategic partnership to protect the peace and security of the region and the world under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The ambassador said that extremism and terrorism continue to threaten those common principles as well as the peace and security of the region 
Bahrain and the world. He affirmed that Bahrain enjoys a long history of peaceful coexistence and tolerance, of which it's a role model in the region, thanks to the vision of His Majesty the King, as represented by the establishment of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. The ambassador affirmed the economic growth that Bahrain is experiencing, thanks to His Majesty's vision and Vision 2030, under which the economy is experiencing various market reforms and diversification of the national income. Representatives, council members and deputy head of the Bahrain delegation to the Asian Parliamentary Assembly, Hamid al kohidi attended the organization's 12th meeting in Turkey, which is being held under the theme of multilateral cooperation between Asian parliaments. al kohidi gave a statement at the meeting in which he said that Bahrain attaches a great deal of importance to its relationship with its neighbors in the Asian continent. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid, Bin Isa al Khalifa is a country of peace, coexistence, and tolerance that respects the sovereignty of countries and the international law, and as such rejects the interference of other countries in its affairs. Al Kohidi conveyed the greetings of the chairpersons of the two chambers of the National Council and expressed hope that the conference will arrive at conclusions and recommendations that reinforce cooperation among the participating countries. The Embassy of Bahrain held a reception and a lunch banquet in Oslo, Norway, on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of its national days. The non-residing ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Japan, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received a number of officials and diplomats from the Norwegian Foreign Ministry in a first celebration of its kind in the history of Bahrain-Norway relations. The ambassador praised the bilateral relations and affirmed Bahrain's commitment to the principles of peaceful coexistence and tolerance, and asserted that Bahrain represents a role model for those principles. The ambassador also discussed a number of key international events that Bahrain has hosted in 2019, among which was a workshop that aimed to develop the Palestinian economy, as well as an event on cooperative, on cooperative efforts to combat terrorism and on maintaining security and peaceful in the region. The Embassy of Bahrain held a reception in Brazil on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of its national days. The residing ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Brazil, Badr Abbas al Hlevi, received, along with the members of the embassy, invitees who participated in the celebration. The ambassador extended congratulations to the leadership and the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the occasion that His Majesty the King's vision for peaceful coexistence and tolerance is Bahrain's key distinguished feature. Among the initiatives of His Majesty the King to spread the principles that define Bahrain is the 2017 declaration which took form of establishing the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence that aims to spread Bahrain's message internationally. The ambassador also praised the deep-rooted Bahraini-Brazilian ties. During the event, the executive of the Middle East Directorate at the Foreign Ministry of Brazil, Sidney Romero, congratulated Bahrain on the Brazilian president's behalf. He praised Bahrain's long civilizational history that goes back to the time of Dilman and congratulated the leadership and the people of Bahrain over its athletic achievement in winning the Arabian Gulf Cup in Qatar. The Embassy of Bahrain held a reception in Tokyo, Japan, on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of the national holidays. The residing ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Japan, Ahmed al Dosiri, received Japan's State Foreign Minister, Suzuki Kisoki, the head of the Japanese Senate, along with prominent members of the Japanese government, diplomats and members of the press, along with the members of the Bahraini Embassy and various invitees who participated in the celebration.
The Bahraini ambassador extended congratulations to the leadership and people of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the occasion and hailed achievements that His Majesty the King's vision made possible. The ambassador also praised the deep-rooted Bahraini-Japanese ties, which he said has always been based on mutual respect and cooperation on all levels, and expressed hope to further develop the bilateral ties. For his part, the Japanese minister affirmed the importance of the bilateral ties and said that Bahrain is among the oldest exporters of oil to Japan. He also praised the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Japan to attend the crowning of Japan's Emperor Naruto, which the ambassador said reflects the Bahraini leadership's keenness on maintaining its relationship with Japan. He also praised Bahrain's decision to lift its ban on Japanese food imports. The General Consulate of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Mumbai held a celebration reception to mark Bahrain's celebration of its national holidays. And on this occasion, the General Consul of Bahrain in Mumbai expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. The event included highlighting the strong bilateral relations, discussing their recent visits and musical performances. The event was attended by a number of officials, heads of delegations in Mumbai, and scores of citizens. The Ministry of Youth and Sports brought leading eSports tournament Blast Pro Series Global Final to Bahrain. The spectacular final event of a seventh stop world tour has hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the first time, making it the biggest sports event ever held in the region. The final saw the top four teams vying for the championship trophy and the chance to take home a share of 500,000 US dollars prize pool. Blast Pro Series is a global set premium tournaments that deliver elite-level counter-strike and world-class entertainment that brought together gamers from as far as Brazil and the U.S. and Denmark competing for the 500k prize pot during the epic two-day esports tournament. And the hosting of the event falls squarely with His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa's vision to make Bahrain the capital for youth and sports. We've had a most amazing time here in Bahrain. The hospitality and the passion of the community and everything they've done has been fantastic. But equally, we've also shown Bahrain to over 200 million homes worldwide here for the Blast Pro Series Global Final. And we've had lots of young fans coming out today and yesterday and on Thursday. We've been able to see great Bahraini players like Tekken Master out here talking to the crowd. But equally, inside the fans are inside the arena. We've had hundreds of people there to watch what has been really a battle of gladiators over the weekend. We're delighted to be here in Bahrain this weekend for the global final. Uh, it's an absolute privilege to bring the global final to the region and specifically to Bahrain. The welcome from the people, the hospitality, uh, the support that the government has given and all of our sponsors has just been phenomenal. And we're really proud to see that all the Bahrainis have turned out in force uh, to, to participate in this event. Uh, the players have been commenting, commenting to me that the atmosphere in the arena is just incredible, electric. Blast Pro Series uh, Global here in Bahrain for the first time is actually something that we are so proud to be a part of. You know, we as Della, we are so proud to be the marketing and strategic partners to an event like this. An event like this always puts Bahrain on the map especially when it comes to an event where e-gaming is right now one of the highest grossing uh, money-making business in the world. So to have something like this here in Bahrain, of course, it grows the economy, it grows this perspective of e-gaming to the people around, not only to uh, people that are organizing or being a partner to it or even helping out. It's more of uh, them being here in Bahrain, showcasing. And, and this is also really good for Bahrain because it also gives Bahrain the power to show its muscles it's it's obviously great uh, we are we, we have been doing really well this year uh, so obviously we expected to go to the final uh, also going up against our better rivals in, in team liquid who has been uh, who has been uh, we have been playing them a lot in the in the past finals over the the last two years so I'm expecting a great final uh, and the atmosphere from the fans here in Bahrain has been uh, has been really well it's been really good Hosting it in the Kingdom of Bahrain was, was and has been an incredible ride. You know, it's been 
a year in the making. We've we made it happen. Wouldn't have happened without uh, His Excellency's help from the Ministry of Youth and Sport uh, and help from EDB as well. And I think that all coming together and seeing the setup that is here that I think most from all other regions of the world would be extremely surprised about, we were in a, in a positive sense, just meant that it was the perfect place to go. And I think that combined with our mission and vision for esports as a whole, which aligned beautifully with the vision and mission of, of the country, um, I think it, it was the perfect place for us to end the year. And I mean, you've seen the fans in the arena, they're loving it, that means that we're loving it. So ending on a high note already, I feel like. I'm really glad um, to have, to, to actually, for them to be here and attend a, an event live um, as a kid, I always wanted to. Um, so just seeing these guys live playing, honestly, it's still surreal to me being inside. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad they chose Bahrain um, amongst other other cities like Moscow, Madrid, Los Angeles, Miami, you know. And then Bahrain is the global final, which is amazing and. It's, it's good for the scene in the Middle East as well.